Hi, my name is Laquita Ricks. I am a Colorado State Representative for House District 40. I have learned so many things in my freshman session as a state legislator. I have learned how to pass bills. I have learned, you know, how to conduct myself in the Committee of the Whole. It's been a very fascinating place to learn about, you know, the politics, how laws are passed, serving on the different committees, the Business and Labor Committee, also the Public Health and Behavior Committee that I served on. We responded yeah. to so many earlier this year when yeah. the unemployment issue was going on, but now yeah. we're getting the results, so that's a good yeah. thing. Mm -hmm. Hearing about Colorado's problems and coming up with solutions to fix it through these bills has been just so rewarding for us. Um, one out of every 10 persons here in yes. Colorado is an immigrant. Six out of every small businesses here are started by immigrant entrepreneurs like myself. The state of Colorado, the House of Representatives convened in the 73rd General Assembly, hereby extends sincere tribute to the immigrants and immigrants descended families of Colorado in honor of National Immigrant Heritage Month. I offer this tribute as a refugee and the first African immigrant to serve in the Colorado State House. My own family came to Colorado um, in 1980 after a bloody military coup in Liberia, West Africa, where I'm from. My mother was held at gunpoint for over two hours while my sister and I watched. We didn't know if she was gonna live or die in that encounter. And the reason why they were interrogating her was because she was engaged to a government official. When they found him, they dragged him to our driveway um, along with my mother and just by the grace of God, she was not taken. After a few days, they had rounded up all 13 ministers of the government and they tied them and shot them by firing squad. Within a couple months of that occurrence, we were able to come to the United States. Eventually got here to Aurora where I live today. Thank you, Representative Briggs. And so to stand there in the state house and be representing my district, um, that moment was just really striking for me and I, you know, it was just a lot to process. But I think that's what we talk about when we say that we talk about American dream. Um, I think people come from all over the world, escaping famine, war, political unrest like we did, and they come to seek a better life. And I've been so fortunate to be blessed here in Colorado, not only representing my district, but to start my own business, to raise my daughter, and to be able to contribute to others within my community is, is a true joy. So this is Aurora Central High School. This is where I spent four years and coming to America, leaving all my friends in Liberia and now having to make new friends. This school is predominantly um, immigrant because there's so, so many people here um, that, that are from many different countries. I mean, it's a very, very diverse school. It's one of the most diverse ones within the rural public schools. I remember walking in snow my first time. <laughs> oh God. We were walking to school and I kept slipping and my friends kept laughing at me. It, it was just silly, but I, I didn't have, like, I guess, snow feet at the time. <laughs> this is my neighborhood that I grew up in. We lived here for about a year before we moved down the street on East Colfax and Joliet. My mom had to work so much harder to do everything and start all over. And within 10 years of coming, she, she died from cancer. So, um, and my sister and I didn't have a mom and my father died shortly, you know, so we've gone through a whole lot of stuff and I try not to dwell there, but I know that they put enough in us to try to make a difference and to go after your dreams. I think we should always dream, always reach for something, always have something that you're going to. I've had lots of traumatic experiences, but there's something on the inside that keeps me going. I'm a person of faith. I keep praying. I fall down, I get up, and I say, never give up, never give up on your dreams. There's always something, tomorrow's another day, and the sun will come out. Don't give up on your dreams, ever. 